Well, hi there. My name is Deke Topland 33 and this is... Dark Shooter 94, you dipshit! Well, apparently, the first shooter can't talk. Well, um, we're gonna make a tutorial on how to merge movable items with the map geometry. Alright, first going to Foundry. Once you're in there, spawn a wall. Once that wall is spawned, place it flat on the ground. After you did that, then spawn two doors and stick them into the wall long ways. By long ways, I mean so that the broad side of the door is facing outwards. After you've done this, Grab the wall. Before the cool done run out, I'll be giving it my best is and nothing's going to then stop. Save and quit. Intervention. I reckon it's again my turn. And do, do this really fast so, so that the wall doesn't so like spat his eye or anything. Won't hesitate no more. No more. It's Restart the game, game as soon as you're ready. Wait. And I once you're in there, do this. Well, now that you have the wall under there, you ha you yourself have to get under. To do this, spawn a double box and place and put the place it started in no. About well, the normal respawn time is 30 seconds. That should give you enough time open to get under. Up your plans and damn, you're free. Look into After your you're done with that, you restart the round. Love, love, love. Listen to the music of the moment, maybe sing with me. Melody. Once the round restarts, it's go to the place where the box is going to stand on. Love, love, then, love, wiggle your love, remote ever so slightly and you'll so fall under. As soon as you pass through the floor, go into forward. So then grab the wall no and the, how far no you want the object merge is how far down you should place it. Once you have it in the correct place, I'm save sure the changes and quit no again. Need to complicate our time. Is short. This is our fate. I'm yours. All right, now start up the game again. All right, once you're in the game, go and place a double box with the center where the teardrop will be, right above your wall. It, it's really hard to do it, so I would keep the walls. Where I would keep the doors that you spawned, excuse long, me, where you actually had it and place the box where the doors were. Place the respawn time at 180 and place it start no. Then restart the round. Once you're there, place the object you want to merge right above the teardrop of that of the box that you just made. Not respawn. Then go back under the map. Once you're there, force spawn that box that you set to 180. And then, once the object starts to spaz out, once the object starts to spaz out, you have to go back to the top and delete the box. So, let's see how it works. So you start spazzing out, and then you gotta move to the top. You can do this by just going back into human form, you'll just move right to the top. And there you have it. Well, since the object is gonna keep spazzing out, like, right there, you're gonna wanna save and quit so that doesn't happen. And once you restart the game, it should be fine. Alright, let's start this back up one more time and check out our new box. And there you have it. The crate's been interlocked and it doesn't seem to be moving. It may jitter every once in a while, but it's not that big of a deal. And remember guys, this is being Sharp Shear and Guitar Play. And we hope you guys happy forging. Stanley Heroes waiting for your cries.
So many times you did not bring this on yourself. And when that moment finally comes, I'll be there to help.